Welcome to this session on how yoga can actually help you to sleep at night. So many of my students will say that they really suffer from not being able to sleep and that when they come or practice a yoga class, it's the best night's sleep that they have. So if you do suffer from insomnia uh, quite badly, then you want to have a regular routine that is the same, doing some stretches, doing some breath work so that you can help use yoga to help you get to sleep. So obviously, you will know if you don't sleep well and you've researched it a little bit not to have TVs in your room, not to have any electronic devices, don't be on your computer just before you go to bed because it's stimulating the sympathetic nervous system and that will keep your brain active and it will stop you from coming into your relaxation space, which is the parasympathetic nervous system. So what yoga does is it helps you to move into your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the then directs the brain to help your body to start relaxing and ultimately get a good night's sleep. So what we're going to talk about, first of all, is how you mindfully prepare for bed. So obviously you get all of your things ready um, for bed, your clothes, whatever you do to get ready for bed, you set your alarm, have everything organized so there's nothing else for you to do before you practice your yoga. And then when you start to do these preparations, when you're cleaning your teeth, when you're cleansing your face, whatever you do to get ready for bed, when you're in the shower, do it mindfully. Know that you're brushing the top teeth. Know, work with your breath or just be aware of your breath as you're cleaning your teeth. And all of these things will start to help you to prepare to get a good night's sleep once you've practiced your yoga. So you're mindfully cleansing your face. You, you know that you're breathing in and out as you do this practice. And you just have the thought that you're actually taking some time to nurture yourself and care for yourself in this moment. Once all that is complete, you mindfully come to bed with the intention that it's now time to let your nervous system relax and to prepare for a good night's sleep. So what I'm going to do is invite you to come down onto your mat or just actually you would be not on your mat, but you might have your mat by your bed or you can do this on your bed so that you can just climb into bed after your practice. Well, we will come down onto our backs anyway. So bring in your hands. We're just going to start to ease out your spine to prepare it for sleep. So hands are under your wrists, hips are under your shoulders. Start to tuck the tailbone under and just round your back off and allow your head to relax down. And then you take your hips back, let your belly drop, let your chest drop and just raise your head up and take your shoulders away from your ears. Wait until you start to breathe out and practice that movement again. Hips tuck under, rounding your back off, head drops down. Inhale. Belly to floor, chest to floor, raising up. Exhale. Rounding your back off, head drops down. Inhale. Chest to floor, head comes up. Exhale and just keep flowing with your back. And what we're actually doing is removing tension and tightness from your spine so that you'll be able to sleep in a lot better, deeper sleep. Take your toes, big toes together, knees come out. So you're just on your bed here. You may not even have your mat on your bed. I don't recommend that you do. And just bring your hands down. Bottom to heels, you might want to put a cushion between here and let your head rest down on the mat. And what I'm going to invite you to do here is to just breathe into your body, breathe into your back. You may want to just relax your arms at the front. It depends on how you feel. You might want to just have your head resting 
like this, whatever feels right for you. And just start to tune into your breathing. Just letting your body soften down each time you breathe out. One more breath here. And then bring in your hands back under your shoulders. And then it's time to come to lying down. So these are some of the postures that you can do to help you get to sleep if you suffer from insomnia or bad sleeping. So we're going to start to ease your back out now. So bring your feet up to flat on the mat and you're going to take your left foot and just place it on your right knee and this posture will help you to really release your hips and your back you're going to feed your fingers through to behind your right leg and just draw the leg towards you now chin comes to chest and you might find that your leg is really tight here if it's too tight just bring your knees closer together and then you just draw your right leg back chin to chest lengthen through your spine toes are pointing alongside towards your knee and you can move into a stronger stretch if you wish by just slowly pushing your left knee away couple of breaths here and then just drop in your feet down we'll do the same on the other side so your right foot comes onto your left knee hands feed through the left leg and we just start to ease the back out as you prepare your body your mind to go to sleep Breathing in again, you can bring your knees together, or if you want a stronger stretch, just pushing gently your right knee away from you. Lovely. And then bring in your feet so they're flat on to the mat. You're going to draw the soles of the feet toward you for our last posture, a yoga posture to help you sleep. You're going to bring either your feet together. There's a few options here depending on how comfortable it is for you. So feet come together. Drop your knees out. You might want to put some cushion support under your legs here. Or you can take your feet as close or away from you as possible. Or if you want a bit more support for your back, just drop your knees in towards each other. Or if you just want to lie down with your feet out resting in Savasana then you can do that. So you may have pillows and cushions to support you here in whatever way you need them. Hands rest either outside of the belly of the body or resting on the belly. So I'm going to come back into Barakanasana. Just going to drop my knees down, chin is towards the chest, and I just start to focus on my breathing. And I just want to make the exhalation a little bit longer than the inhalation. That's the key to calming your nervous system. So you might want to count how long you breathe in and then make that count a couple of counts longer. So you breathe in for four, maybe breathe out for six. Just start to notice how that feels to breathe out for longer than you breathe in. So a fantastic way to help you sleep and get to sleep. Such a good technique to do. And then I'll invite you to just start to travel through your day. Just keeping that feeling that you're breathing out for longer than you're breathing in. And just begin to notice 
any irritations or things that didn't feel they went that well or you didn't feel comfortable with them. And once you arrive at, and if you have any moments like this, just hold there, just notice how it feels in your body and make your exhalation that little bit longer. You can also take this one step further by imagining how you would have want, wanted the that particular moment to go. And just keep your exhalation flowing that little bit longer than your inhalation. Traveling through your day. And just keeping that going. You can replay this video. So just keep that process going for as long as you need to. If you're in Bhadakanasana, you can then to come out of that, support your knees to come up. And then you just come to rest in whatever position is comfortable for you to sleep. You might want to keep focusing on your breath being that little bit longer. Your exhalation being that little bit longer than your inhalation. And just having that intention that you're going to move into a beautiful deep sleep. So what I would suggest for you is that you try this sequence um, to help see how you go. You can also go on to my website soul harmony yoga and go to you'll see the seven day free trial that you can click on to and do try and test how yoga can actually help you with your sleep i promise it makes such a massive difference so many of my students have said it's the best night's sleep that they get of the week when they practice i would recommend practicing at least a 40 minute yoga class I'd advise to go over to, to start with to the restorative yoga class and maybe incorporate at least two or three classes for the seven day trial period so that you can really get a sense of how it's going to work for you. So thank you for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Namaste.